All right, so we got a request to talk through this idea of writing the functions for a piecewise function, so writing out the, the equation for that. So let's take a look at that here together. Uh, so the first step for this is to kind of identify the ranges where it's starting and stopping, and we'll come up with what the actual equations are for each of those ranges. So this first range here goes from this point to this point. So we sort of count our way off. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one's going from negative uh, eight, including point negative eight, all the way up to five. So for values of x between negative eight and negative five, we're gonna use this equation. Now since this point is shared, we can either include it on uh, the, the first function or the second function. And for this one, hopefully you can kind of see that this equation is just a horizontal line. The equation for this horizontal line is just two. Now, uh, that first one's a little easier. The second one is a little more challenging. So this one is actually a line, a diagonal line, like this, and it uh, doesn't include this point at the end, so we'll kind of go from negative five, less than or equal to x, and I've included the negative five on this one, and uh, less than, but not equal to, uh, what's that one? That goes to negative two. So we're kind of finding the ranges of each of the, or the domains of each of these parts. And uh, so now what we need to look at is the first step to finding these equations is to find the slopes. And so in this first one to find the slope, what we'll do is we'll sort of count the, uh, for this one I'll do kind of rise over run. So if we, if we look at this, looking at the number of steps that we go up, we're going from uh, at this first point, the starting point there, let's kind of write out what that point is. This point is gonna be um, x negative five and your y is two. And then your final point here is negative two, comma eight. So we're going up by six, our rise is six, our run is three. So it's six thirds is our slope or two. So this one is then two x will be the slope. And then we're gonna have some sort of uh, plus something. And uh, we're not really sure exactly what that something's gonna be, so I'm, for my own notation, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be plus b, and I'll take a second over to the side over here to figure out what that plus b is gonna be. Well, since I know these two points, negative five comma two and negative two comma eight, I can plug either of those in as my x and y values for this function. So let's say if y was gonna be, uh, I'll, I'll start with this, with this first point here, the five, negative five comma two. So if I know my y value is two, I can say y would be two, and then two, and su substitute in for x, my x value, which would be negative five. And then I've got plus b, that's the last one. Now if you know point slope form and you're comfortable with that, you can put it into point slope form and then re-manipulate it until you get it into um, slope intercept form. And so in this case here, if I go ahead and multiply this out, I've got negative 10 plus b is equal to two. And then to solve for, for b, I would have to add 10 to both sides. And so then I get, as a result, if you go through the steps of the algebra, you get that b is equal to 12. And so what I'm gonna do is now, go ahead and come over here, cross out this b, and replace it with a 12. And then I'm gonna erase everything that I did over here, but that's just because I don't have enough room on this sheet to show all my work for all the parts. Okay, so we got that one down. Then for the third part, we're gonna look at this line here. This one right there. Sorry, I kind of scribbled all over it, but kind of to show you which one I'm talking about. The third line goes from negative two of x all the way up to three on y. So you can kind of put the range there. It's gonna go from negative two, including the point negative two, all the way up to positive three. And then this one I can include on either end, so it's up to me which side I wanna, if I wanna do this one less than or equal to, or the next one if I wanna include it on the next range, because they overlap. So now we need to look at what the slope is. And so for this one, our first point is gonna be negative two comma negative one. And our final point is going to be three, negative one, two, three, four, five, six. And so from that, I can figure out what the slope is. So our uh, sort of rise, in this case, rise over run, the, looking at our delta y over delta x. Well, in this case, delta y, it goes down by five from negative one down to negative six. 
and it goes to the right by five as well. So it's five over five, but it's negative because it's a downward slope. And so in this case, the slope is negative one. And so rather than writing negative one X, I'm just gonna write negative X. And then for this one, because it actually crosses over the Y intercept, we can see what the point is for the Y intercept. And we can just write this in slope intercept form. So it's gonna be minus X minus three, negative X minus three. And now our last line, and this one's maybe the trickiest one of these, um, is this one over here, the fourth line segment. And so for this one, um, I'll start out by looking at the two points. And so we've got three comma negative six, and then the last one here is nine comma, what looks like two to me, as I count it off there, nine comma, oh, sorry, negative two, nine comma negative two. And so as we look at this one, our rise over run, well, it goes up by four, and it goes over by six. Hopefully you're gonna see that there, you could do it as y2 y minus y1 over x2 minus x1 or delta y over delta x what i get is a change in the y of plus four and a change in the x of plus six so i wind up with four sixths which can be reduced to two thirds so it's going to be two thirds x and again plus something okay so i'm going to do the same thing i did last time i'm just going to write it as two thirds x plus b and i'm going to take one of these pairs of points and i think i'll probably go with uh, this one, three comma negative six, and I'm gonna plug that in into my equation. So I'm gonna say, if our equation would be y equals two thirds x plus b, then I can go ahead and plug these numbers in. Three for x and negative six for y. So I've got negative six is equal to two thirds times three plus b, what would be the y-intercept in this case. And so uh, I'm just gonna do a little bit of math on this. And so we'll go ahead and multiply 2 thirds times three, that's just two. So two plus b is equal to negative six. And then if we uh, subtract two from both sides, we get that b is equal to negative eight. And so we can go ahead and replace this b over here with negative eight. So it'd be instead of plus B, write minus eight. And that's gonna be this piece of the function, the piecewise part here goes from X equals three all the way up to, but not including X at nine. So we're gonna go from uh, three less than or equal to X and then less than nine. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions on this. Good luck. We'll see you for the test.